Hi, my name is Rasmus and I'm going to review the Super Chromonica. Uh, it's from Honor. It's a chromatic harmonica, as uh, chromonica is supposed to stand for. And it has 12 holes. The usual chromonica only has 10 holes, but this one has 12. Uh, and the last holes, I think, yeah, it's uh, higher. Uh, so you get uh, 4 tones more, or 8 tones to be exact, to be precise with the... Uh, with a click motion. So, as I said, it's chromatic, so it's like usually with chromatic harmonicas. You press the button, then you get the half tones. Um, and it has two, three octaves. I think three complete octaves, if I count right. I think so. And uh, it's really fun to play. It's, um, <coughs> I, like the, um, I like the feeling of it, and it's so thick, and I really get the the thick sound from it, and you get the whole. Uh, I'm actually used to, uh, to play uh, diatonic harmonicas, so it's a completely different thing for me. Uh, but I love the thing that they have this. Um, I think it's pressure wall. It has this small. Um, I don't know if you can see that. I think that you can't. But uh, inside of here, they have um, a small uh, type of um, textile that covers the plates. Uh, the covers the reeds so that no air is leaked, and you get this really easy, unleaky response from it, and it's really great. And the slide works perfectly. I haven't it hasn't sticked at all yet, and um, really firm. And as you can see here, uh, it's uh, the only one thing is harder because sometimes when you tongue block, then you <laughs> can actually cut yourself on the slides going by. So be careful about the tongue blocking. It's a great hop. I love the sound of it. It's really... It has this warm sound and it's like, it's more... It's not brassy and it's really... Um, it's really fancy in a way, I think. And I like that too. I'm not really into that, but it's, I think it's great. Um, and um, the slide motion... It has this great glissando effect when you use it. It's really sturdy. It comes in this box. Um, and it's really, it looks so good inside. And when it lies there, you're just like... Oh, I'm like... It's just like a play in some like, quartet or something. It looks great. And uh, you can use it for... I think it's great for both um, jazz and um, it's also great for playing the, the classical music. Though I think sometimes you wouldn't need another pair of holes uh, to get some of the notes, but you can really play a lot on this. And uh, you can also play scales and such. I can show you a, bit, a little bit, I'm not quite sure. Um, this is actually uh, in C minor, so I'm using the switch to bend the holes. Let's just skip that. <laughs> you didn't see that. So, however, um, it's really fun to play the chromatic harmonica, especially uh, like the first thing that I showed you, the um, antitrust dance. Uh, it's hard. You can do that on a diatonic harmonica, but it's not as fun as all, and you get this great glissando from this, as I said, with a. Okay, that's not a glissando. I mean. Yeah, I don't know, yeah, a trill, we, I, I used to call it something like that. But however, um, so it's a great hop, it is sturdy, the wood is in pear I think, and uh, as you can see there's a lot of wood, uh, and um, they are supposed to hold a lot longer than uh, the tonic harmonicas, and you can bend the note a bit. But not as much as in with usual um, uh, with the um, diatonic harmonicas. Though you can bend all the notes in this one, which is a plus. And um, it, I haven't had any problems with it. They have these support roads here. It's great because it makes it sturdier. Um, the shape is great. You get used to the flicking motion and it flicks easily. Um, and um, 
Overall, great harmonica. Nothing more to be said, I think. I'm not that used, as you heard, to uh, playing uh, chromatic harmonicas. So, uh, even for beginners, it's really simple, and I think it costs about 1,200 crowns, which is about 110 or 100 and 105 maybe pounds or something. And uh, it's worth the price if this is what you're looking for, and if you want to play. Um, things that you can play on the diatonic harmonica either because you can't bend them or because you just want to have this more um, like uh, sturdy like quick uh, um, change of notes with this because sometimes when you bend it's, uh, it's hard to get this like fast bending it gets more like a glissando and sometimes you don't want that and that's why this could be definitely great for you. So it comes in C. I think there is a version in G as well um, but C is definitely to prefer at least if you're not that good and you want to play some real stuff because this is like a usual piano. Uh, all these are white notes 1 to 12 and then with this all the half tones comes up and uh, you can play the black keys as well. So, if you want, um, and I think it's, I think it's, uh, maybe it's uh, the minus one octave or just the middle octave on the piano. So you get the middle C and the, uh, yeah, I think so. So it's really fun to play. Um, buy one if you want one, if you have the money, uh, it's fun and uh, it's versatile and it will last forever and the overall size and the shape of it is great so nothing more to be added. Um, have a good one, more reviews are coming up so stay tuned.